What's up, Pack Horse family? Listen, true, true smiles. Uh, true smiles. True smiles start on the inside, right? True, true smiles start based upon how you really feeling in the inside. You understand? And, and when you're going through life day to day, it's easy to be happy one moment. It's easy to be sad one moment. It's easy to be angry in another moment, you know? And it's all about being able to read in between your own lines, deciphering between your own feelings and emotions and, and displaying that in the best way you know how. Understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you can't let everybody know what you're going through. At the end of the day, sometimes you got to smile when you don't feel like smiling. Sometimes you got to talk when you don't feel like talking. Sometimes you uh, you feel in some type of way. You just can't explain how you feeling to make people understand. And you got to understand, even when you do explain it, it's not that people don't care. Just know that nobody walking your short story, nobody walking in your shoes exactly like you are. So even the best orator, the best speaker is not going to be able to explain every little fabric about them to the next person to give it to them exactly the way that they probably want. But you do your best you can as you're telling your story. You do the best you can as you release it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like when you got that anger and everything within, like you got to be careful not where you place that anger and, and, and that aggression and all that when you're not feeling good and, and when you're not in a good headspace because oftentimes, we take that out on the people closest to us, right? And not the people that, that that we should take it out on. You understand what I'm saying? So just think about like maybe a gig or a job or something like that. Like you really want to go in on these people that you work for, but you know it's limitations to that, right? Not that, not that, not that, not that you can't speak your mind, not that you can't be who you want to be, but but it's some it's something it's something different about somebody having some authority on you that can snatch your livelihood from you. You know, you gotta have a certain sense of humbleness. You understand what I'm saying? And and that humbleness is just about being smart. Understand, like, not everything that you want to say in the moment need to be said, right? Because because it's all about your tone. It's all about your body language. That's how people, you know what I'm saying? Some people talk with their hands. Me, when I get passionate, I get upset. My voice, my voice escalate. I may scream a little bit. I may, you know what I'm saying? I may do something like that that what I don't normally do in my normal every day. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes it's just, Take a deep breath, man. Calm down and understand. Understand that everything gonna work out in your favor, right? It's just like it's just like it's just like picking up. It's just like cooking on the stove, right? The way they constructed these pots and these pan and these pans, they gave you a handle. Understand? They gave you a handle as a safety precaution, so you won't have to touch that hot thing with your hand. Because if you touch that hot pot or pan with your hands, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna scar you. You never forget those kind of things. You know what I'm saying? Understand, so we got to rest in the power and know that the Most High God is always working on our behalf, believe it. You understand, we got to understand that we got to realize even in our toughest time, even in our darkest days, we got to understand that we got to know that, right? So listen, I got to, I got to, I got, I got something I want y'all to remember. I want y'all to remember this, right? I want you to take yourself far away from resentment and get, and get even closer to forgiveness, huh? I want you to take yourself far from resentment and get even closer to forgiveness right and this could go for your everyday life man because i tried that last people go offend you you go do some offending right and it's easy just i know some things hard i, I, I know some things are easily forgiven I'm, i know but i'm saying i'm saying just just forgive man and move on and keep living this life to the to the to the purest of the fashion how it's meant for you you understand what i'm saying exactly how it's meant for you to live it right because you we got to do this right so it's like this you was blessed. You was blessed with the ability to be yourself. Understand what I'm saying, Pack Horse family. You was blessed with the ability to be yourself. And guess what? Can't nobody else do that like you. Can't nobody else do that like you. So I want you to think about this. I want you to think about a time in your life, a time in your life that you escaped, that you got, that you got over, that you overcame. And once you overcame that, you said, I'm never doing this again. I'm never going back to that again. Never. I, I, I know they say never say never, but man is highly, highly, highly unlikely that I'm walking back into a situation like that again. Right. I want you to think about that story. And I want you to think about that at the same time as you think about, can nobody do life like you? Ain't nobody never done it like you've done it before. Nobody. Nobody. To walk your steps to the millisecond down to the hair follicle like you have. So when you need some inspiration, when you need empowered. Go back and refer back to your own story and your own self and understand that you got with every everything within you that you need that you need to live a, a productive life.
life that you can lead and serve others. Understand that it's all within you. It's already in you. You already did it. So don't undervalue yourself. Don't undervalue your peace. Don't undervalue the love that you bring. Don't undervalue it. Pack Horse family, that's what I be trying to get. Don't undervalue it. And remember them gifts, them hidden gifts, they truly do exist. Understand, sometimes you just don't know what you need until you run upon it and find it. And you see what I'm saying? Until you, until you, until you, until you find it. Until you find it, you never know you needed that thing until you found it. And once you found it,